Let's start by installing Spring Boot. Then we can use Spring Boot to initialize our project. We're going to use a simple web project with Gradle as our build tool, and we'll name our project React Boot. Not much to it. From there, we can go into our editor and take a look at the project structure. You'll see, it sets up a pretty basic project structure um, with a demo application already there. So let's go ahead and add a controller. We'll call it demo controller. Java and start adding in some of the dependencies that we need. So we're creating a REST controller in class demo controller and we'll just set up our request. Um, so this is mapping to echo um, with a request parameter of request that defaults to hello and then we just return back that same request. Let's see if that works. And the application launches, and you can see it's on port 8080. And it responds back with a test. Just to validate that. Foo. OK, so we've got an API. Let's then move to creating our UI. We're going to make use of Create React App. We'll begin by installing that. And then we can use that to create our React structure. I'm placing it in the script directory under main. OK, let's test this out. localhost 3000. Welcome to React. Fantastic. Now we can hook our React application up to our API. We'll start by creating a symbolic link back to the static directory. This will allow the default Create React App scripts to place the files in the appropriate location for Spring Boot. Now we can update app.js to call our API. So we'll import the fetch API. We'll change our title. and we'll add our form to allow us to interact with the API. So we've got a submit handler and a change handler. We'll first add our change handler. This takes in the event and sets the state dot request to be equal to the value of that text box. And our submit handler, which will take the request string, pass that to the API and then pop up an alert with the response after the service returns. And now we can launch our application again. That's beautiful. Our updated title shows, as well as our form with our button. Now at the moment, we're only running it in the React environment. So we need to go back and run this with Spring Boot. Now we can build our JavaScript bundle. Go back to the project root and build our jar. And now we can launch our application again.
and successfully get back a response from the API.